Hey there friends, how's it going? Today we're looking at Project Zomboy, the best zombie game I have ever played. It's open world, it's permadeath, it's stressful, and it's just all around amazing. And the zombie apocalypse goes together with a mall like peanut butter and jelly. So I've decided to put myself through the mental torture of going to the zombie infested mall, trying to get every single thing in the mall that I need, and getting out. As if this game wasn't stressful enough. But let me show you rather than tell you. So this is where we're held up in the pawn shop. We need to get all the way down here, over here, down here, over here, down here, and this is the mall. We have pretty much all we need, but the problem is I'm not gonna be able to carry it. So what I might do is try and load up my van. Oh good, there's no zombies over here. That would have been a depressing start to this video, wouldn't it? We would have been on to man three. <laughs> all right, we got, oh, a zombie right on our tail. Okay. And another. There we go. All right. Well, at least man two is very used to killing. He's killed 374 zombies in a week. Okay. Streets clear. Let's load up that van. Okay. Bad news. Uh, where is the key for this thing? I could have sworn I had a key. Is this not my car? <laughs> okay. My brain was telling me to move the car over there. So yeah. Okay. I, I passed Kevin was thinking the same way. I have a car over here already. Great. That's an even cooler car. Put everything from the bag into the truck. I have a restricted area sign and a warning sign. Those are my most important items. I must legally carry a warning sign. I don't have a huge amount of space here, so I'm just gonna make do with what I can. Uh, these zombies, on the other hand, I gotta deal with now. Good. One at a time. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Uh, I wish they'd stop destroying that fence, though. I really like having a space to park my car, even if I don't remember where that space is. And they broke it. All right. Oh, it's fine. What's a zombie apocalypse if you have things you like, am I right? Okay, let me go clean up and get a a fresh stockpile of stuff. Ah, oh, yes, the medicine cabinet where I keep my bourbon. <laughs> my 253 cigarettes. I plan on living a very long life, so I'm gonna need those. Dangly ruby earrings? Well, I don't need to take those in the truck. I need to wear them. Perfect for a zombie to grab onto. Got a leather jacket and some jeans in the freezer. I might leave those behind. I think I'm just gonna eat all that ice cream. I think I've earned it. And that is the truck completely full with my crap. I'll stuff as much food as I can fit in the glove box also. Now I gotta decide what are my most important items that I'm leaving here. I, I need the gas can. That's important. An axe. That's always good. I have a broken pickaxe inside the oven. I'll just leave that there. Carpentry volume 4 and 5. I may need that. Ah, uh, this is the anger room where I just broke stuff. I don't need anything here. What about the valuables pile? I do have a lot of nails there. Can I take them? Okay, better lock up. I definitely turned the oven off because I don't want to overcook that pickaxe. And now we're gonna head out to the mall. Oh, some zombies have come to see me off. Excellent. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. You're certainly not brainless when it comes to making a guy feeling good about himself. Okay. The car seems to be working. That's good. I probably should have checked that before I loaded it up, but here we are. Just a slight little bit of damage there. The, the car is fine. Don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. You know that route we drew out? Yeah, I think I, I've lost it. I'm certainly not on it anymore. And it's definitely not being helped by the amount of trashed cars lying around here. All right, it's getting a little bit busy. Uh, is this the mall? I can't actually stop to check. Oh my god, what is this? Some sort of roadblock set up by the zombie police. They're getting more organized. All right, yeah, I'm definitely off road now. i am gone down some walkway path. It's fine. It's all going according to plan. I think I'm still on the trail to get to the mall. I guess this must be it, right? It's It's gotta be. Yeah, this is a mall for sure. We got a few zombies to deal with, but nothing that I don't think I can handle, especially with my vehicle on my side. From a legal standpoint, if I'm just driving back and forth in this road and they have plenty of grass to be on, it's kind of their fault, isn't it? You ever just do something that like feels like a bad idea, but it's working so well you just don't really want to stop? Hypothetically, of course. All right, but I should probably stop. I killed quite a lot of them like that and I think I'm ready to deal with the rest. I've never seen a zombie with a bowl cut before. That's so cool. That is a lot of dead zombies. Hey guys, come back. I want to deal with you now. Come over here. It would be some laugh if they killed me. When actually, no, it wouldn't be. I'd be actually really upset. Okay, the whole field here is empty. <laughs> now we gotta get inside. The hard part. Oh my lord, that is a lot of zombies. They must have ran out of them all, I guess? Oh man, I believe in myself, but I don't really want to take that on. I'm carrying a lot of stuff. I'm thirsty. I'm panicked. It seems like they're coming from up there, though, and that was the way I wanted to get in, so we'll just have to see what I can do here. Lime? Yeah, I can eat those for some <laughs> thirst improvement. <laughs> 
because I don't think I'm getting in as soon as I'd hoped. This might even be good. I mean, the fact they all came out to meet me, first of all, it's very polite. Secondly, it's better out here than in there, right? Where did that giant horde go? <laughs> Where did they go? They were here two seconds ago. Okay, well, that's immediately concerning. I, I don't like that at all. Oh, dear lord, okay. There we go. And there's more. First of all, I need a drink fast. I will decorate the halls with your blood. Like, actually, I love it. I think it makes a great interior. You got a sink here? You do. Finally, I need a drink. Okay, this is clearly the food hall. <laughs> Some sort of food court here. Luckily, it's not busy, which is strange. I guess zombies don't like what they're serving up here. Unless it's human. I guess that makes sense. It should be pretty easy to find a store that I want. Uh, it should be coming up here somewhere. This is it. It has a secure door on it. Wait, no, that's a jewelry store. I'm wrong. Keep going. All right, this is it. It's a gun store. And while it might be locked, I have a key. It's also a very loud key, but I'm sure I'll be fine. There we go. Oh, no. There's a drawer in the way. All right, well, I'll just destroy the next portion of the wall. Stupid keys vault. There's another shelf. Maybe I can just destroy this shelf. I don't need that many shelves, do I? Oh, there's more and more coming. How are you even in there? Yeah, I know. They're there. You don't need to jump scare me. I'm assuming this door won't open, right? Right? I, I don't know. Okay, they're through. Okay, that's not good. Well, maybe it is. You know, I would have had to break it down myself otherwise, and I'm tired. Now, if I ever get lost, I'll have a trail of zombie bodies to show me the way out. Oh no, they're after breaking through the front door, I think? I killed two in one hit. Nice. Okay. Go away! I, I don't know how else to address them. I mean, I guess I could open it. Is that a bad idea? Oh! Okay, that's all of them dead. I could be surrounded in here. This is not what I want to be doing right now. There's another zombie there. Oh, there was a zombie there. Now he's inside. Die! Okay, I gotta board up these windows. Okay, I have the tools to disassemble. Let me try and get some boards. This will make a bit of noise, but that's fine. I got one plank. Fantastic. Yep, that ought to keep him out. <laughs> Just one board. Speaking of board, my guy is bored and my health is going down from all of the stuff I'm carrying. I need to offload some of this. I hear so much banging coming from, like, my left. I don't know where exactly, but all I'm trying to do is get planks in the meantime. And he smashed it and got absolutely none. Great. Where the hell are they? They sound so close. Are they just next door? Well, I have all the guns that I could need in here anyway, so that's a good thing. I'm gonna need two planks for every wooden wall frame. I think realistically, I need to either search them all for a furniture store or head outside and chop down some trees. I think I've earned a beer. I'll let him earn a beer. He's very thirsty. Let that alcohol quench your thirst. Okay, the horde has wandered off, it seems. I don't know where they are, but there's a few trees here and I need it in an emergency, so it feels like a good idea to use the limited amount. Great stuff. It took me so long to cut the trees. It's now getting pretty dark in here and I'm about to make a lot of noise. Uh, I, I've decided this barricade isn't the way to go. I'd rather just try my best to build my own wall. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't like that. I'm getting rid of the window frame. This is a little tense for my liking. I'm gonna build a little wall frame. Oh no, there is one right there. Oh no, 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 no. All right, it's just coming in. Die. Come on, don't be looking over my shoulder while I'm building over here. Wall level two. Perfect. Yes, this is exactly what I need. And that should... Oh, you have to do it from that side, don't you? Okay, well, that's that boarded up. They shouldn't try to break that down, as far as I know. Then again, I don't know a whole lot. So I'm next to this jewelry shop. I can't see anything, but that'll be great for accessorizing. This one's for lease and all boarded up. That's good. I might be able to expand down into this one. Okay, I made it to the back rooms once again. Now, we do have one last issue in that I actually have no way in and out other than this giant hole in the wall. I have three planks left here and two left here. I might be able to do something with that. At least they can make the door frame, but I need two two more planks, a doorknob, and some door hinges to finish it off. I may as well go collect the stuff in my car at this point and try and move it in. I'm also thinking about making a separate entrance, but I'm not sure where. Just somewhere where I can load up a little bit easier. But I don't want anything, like, getting to me either, so I'm cautious about doing that. All right, I finally feel a little bit settled in. I've got all of my stuff kind of handled. I still need a door knob and some door handles for that. Or door knob and door hinges would be even handier. 
But yeah, I would like to finish the door. I'm gonna put on some of this uh, military camo to blend in in the mall as I sneak around. Time to place those signs. If they don't listen to the blood, surely they'll listen to the signs. Yeah, how could you miss these? Honestly, if you miss that one and then you miss this one, it's your own fault if I kill you with a machete. Oh my god, that mannequin that. scared me. I just saw the shadow standing there. Oh, this is just a big warehouse. Well, looks like I have an expansion. Oh good, a lighter. I needed that. I'd lost my I don't know where I put it. I swear I put it into the car or something, but yeah, I misplaced it and all my junk. Oh, another one. <laughs> That's also good. And a torch. Might be good for exploring the mall. Unfortunately, all these doors are metal, so I'm not going to be able to disassemble them to get hinges. So this is the warehouse. I'm guessing this is the one that's closed off and it says for lease or whatever. There's some sort of control room here, maybe surveillance? Wood glue, that'll help me repair anything if needed. I'm just wondering, is there a way I can connect all these units and make myself a little empire in the mall? I do need stuff like sink pretty badly. There's also loads of bleach and brooms here for cleaning. I have left a lot of blood around the place. <laughs> and then we got the bathrooms right next to it. Like I could just divide off this hall with a wall if I'm stealthy enough. Is that popcorn? Because I would love some popcorn right now. I feel like I deserve it. This area of the mall is actually very quiet by the looks of it. I think I've killed everything that tried to get me. There is no popcorn. What a joke. I can literally see it in the machine. I don't care if it's old. I want to treat myself. Okay, this is much too big of a shop front worth to reinforce, especially when it's just clothing. But well, maybe I could do back there? If I did that wall, it's only like four spaces. And then I'll have the full run going all the way down as mine. That is actually pretty sick. I see some zombies over there. Oh, wait, one is a mannequin, the other's a zombie. So that's my little shop. I may as well check what's at the other side of me as well, just to be sure. Oh, oh, this is perfect. I have a little apartment. This is right next door to me. What the hell? Well, like, it's a it's a break room, but I'll take it. The hell is this place? Oh, it's a hairdresser of some sort. This break room actually gives me basically everything else I need to just survive. The only other thing I need is a bed. But at the same time, I can actually sleep in these tents if I need to. So I think I'll just accept that. Time to grab my sledgehammer. I need to make another stealthy hole in the wall. There we go. Gotta do the old-fashioned secure it from the outside. For some reason, I don't know what sense that makes, but it's blocked up. I didn't actually know you could block up a doorway like that. I thought I'd have to destroy the wall. But I have done a lovely job. I don't really like that there's a full-on window looking in here. And there's zombies heading towards me, but whatever. Oh no, there's actually a lot of zombies around here now. I just have to be careful to not get complacent, because things are going pretty well. Oh no, whose alarm is that? Whose alarm is that? Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> How do I turn it off? Is it my alarm? Black digital watch. It's got a stop alarm. Thank you, Jesus. So if I'm guessing right, and this is a guess, just so we're clear, if I smash through this wall, I'll be in that apartment, right? Either way, I'm doing it, so let's hope this works out. Yes! Okay, I'm in the apartment. Nice. Now I should probably just get rid of this door as well, or at least barricade it. I might just barricade it. There. All right, that should keep them out, at least till I can run around and kill them. And where did I put my food? I know I put it here somewhere. Ah, here's the rest of my food. This is where I've been storing my yogurt <laughs> and my stale chicken and bacon. All right, let's put that in the fridge. I'll just put my stale food in this cupboard and I'm sure it'll be fine there. All right, let's head out and get some stuff. I need uh, a door <laughs> for sure. And I may need some more food. Like I have a decent amount, but most of it is candy. I don't have quite the stockpile that I thought I had. The problem is, I think the actual food store is at the exact opposite side of the mall. So do I just walk straight through and hope it's this quiet? Because I don't think it will be. Okay, so far only one or two. Maybe it's not that bad. Like, we even have a little furniture store here. I could get my carpentry up. I could get myself a proper bed. That would be nice. Like, I'll settle for a tent if I have to. But it would be nice to have some actual furniture. Oh, this is a carpenter's dream. I can disassemble all of this this. If nothing else, it'll be a good place to get planks and a little bit of XP. And it's pretty close to where I'm at, so that's okay. We got a few stragglers around here. Oh god! Oh jeez! Oh god, I just bumped into someone at the mall! How awkward! <laughs> An introvert's worst nightmare. That is just clothing. We don't want that. Oh, that looks like a food store. Oh, it's alcohol. Even better! Great! <laughs> Where's the bourbon at? <laughs> I found the bourbon. That'll be good for drinking and for disinfectant. Not to mention Molotov cocktails <laughs> should the need arise. I went out for food and I'm just coming back 
back with an unlimited supply of bourbon. <laughs> Good thing I'm not, like, representing a group. It's just me. Just so much more here as well, but I can't carry any more. Another back room. Okay. Good to know. We might be able to sneak around that horde by going this way. I'm still trying to get to that food store. Hello? What store is this? Another clothing store. And what is this? <gasps> water. <laughs> My guy loves water. Okay, I've barged in on some people, but it's quiet enough. What a nice bust. I mean, shoplifting is the least of their worries, right? I can just take this. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's heavy. Oh, Jesus, it's heavy. <laughs> All right, drop it. Put it in container, corpse. No, just put it anywhere. Put it on the ground. Just put it here, man. Just anywhere at all. Stop breaking your back. Ah, the manager. All right, well, that's going to be odd. Someone's going to come in here and think it's a puzzle or something, but no. It just overestimated my strength. What about one of these? These look lighter, and it looks very stylish. Oh, God. Jeez. Scared the bejesus out of me, man. Here's the horde, but I think I can deal with them. There's not too many, and they're spread out, so maybe just one at a time, folks, please. You're in a mall. You know the gist of things. You gotta queue up for your turn. If this machete breaks, I'm in trouble, because this weapon is so good. <laughs> at least I have other things like the fire axe, for example, which is pretty good. And this is an art gallery. I've created my own art. I call it, I don't want to clean up. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, there's quite a lot actually out in this hallway. I thought we were okay. M maybe we're still okay. I don't know. It's just getting a little bit intense. There's a lot, man. <laughs> they keep coming out. But it was a much better entrance than just walking down the hall, because at least I can deal with them a little bit slower. Hey, mall security, step back from the window, punk. Oh, Jesus, one just dropped from the above floor. Die. And you, step back from the window too. What did it ever do to you? I know they can be a pain, but it's not their fault. Okay, bad news. Uh, zombies are beginning to plunge from the floor above just to try and kill me. I am that much of a snack. Okay, are we done? <laughs> no, <laughs> there's more. Okay. Oh, they're queuing up there for some reason. I don't know what they want in this place. It looks like there might be some food though. So I'm gonna take a look. Man, if I can ever clear these zombies. Oh, no. Run. Oh, no. Run, man. Run. Sorry. Run, man, too. Run. This is no food. It's just books, which is great and all. Like, that's fine. It's good to have books. But these items don't look like books to me. That is a lot of banging. I kind of want to see what this is real quick. Some generator. Box of nails. There's nothing here. Okay, I'm just going to leave. <laughs> I didn't even like being in there. I felt like I was risking my life for no reason. Why do you have tissues in a battery stored here? I need food. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's a lot up there. Oh, of course they're all around the food. Okay, I'm gonna take as many as I can, and then we'll just go from there. Ah! If I stay in the open, I should have a path to retreat. I should be okay. And I'm kind of slaughtering them so far. My fear is they'll start jumping from above again. Well, I found out where the bulk of them were anyway. They're all over in this section for some reason. I guess I did kind of eliminate a lot of them before I even came in from the section I'm living in, now that I think about it. Oh no, people behind me. Oh no, 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 no. I wonder what this guy's kill count is up to. We'll have to check. Now that I've I've dealt with those. It is up to 494. Okay, this has to be the food section. There are a lot of chefs walking around. In fact, this loyal worker is still behind the counter. <laughs> He's still on the clock despite everything that's happened. Jeez, the amount of chefs. This can't be possible. It must just be a fashion statement, right? Oh man, there's more. <laughs> Sorry, oh man too, there's more. He is absolutely covered in blood. I think I have to clean his clothes after this. If I could find a laundromat, that would be great. Sit down, read Carpentry Tree. Oh my god, there's even more in there. Okay, I'm gonna have to open the door, I think, before they clump up, and I'll just have to leave them out. At least I didn't get stuck here. This is kind of a bottleneck. Thankfully, that one's too busy licking the windows. Okay, we good? I think we're good. No, we're not good. Never mind. Oh my god, this pack keeps getting bigger and bigger. It's always the one downside to malls, isn't it? There are other people there. Corn dog. Oh yeah, that'll do me well. I think he's earned eating a corn dog right about now. <laughs> Murders like a hundred zombies and just starts eating a corn dog. Okay, well the good news is the refrigerators still work. I don't think there's any point in me bringing refrigerated food back. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit it. I gotta see what was in this room that they were all clumped up 
up in here for? I think it's just storage. Chocolate. I think I'll eat that. <laughs> I'm on such a healthy diet. No wonder he's such good stamina. I'll just simply have to remember that I need a can opener at all times because that is my strategy. I've got such a good selection. I'm just grabbing all the canned goods. Although I think I might have to make a second run. It's also a lot of worrying noises. I don't know where they're coming from, but things are knocking on doors. There's also a few zombies around this absolute <laughs> massacre site. They're even coming from there now. Okay, maybe I can just outrun them. I know I'm kind of leading them back to my base, but my hope is they'll just kind of spread out. Although maybe that's a bad idea. Then they'll kill me. There we go. I got my flashlight. This way, like moth to a flame, right? I don't blame you. Moths are like my spirit animal. Oh, those are the ones that broke through the door, I guess. Well, that makes sense why there was a bit of a horde in here. What the hell is this? What the hell is going on in here? Oh my god, this is terrifying. I want it. How much do you think that thing weighs? 15? Yeah, I can manage it. <laughs> I'm taking damage here. <laughs> my back. <laughs> it's all worth it, though. Okay, now place it there. Yes! It's to show the world that someone was in here with mall madness. Although I think the amount of zombies lying dead around the floor kind of is an example enough in itself. Yeah, it'll be good for future generations to study, you know, if there are any. That is. Could I move one of these tents to like... No, I need a crowbar. God damn it, I saw one of those earlier and I didn't take it. Surely it's okay to sleep sleep in the one in the corner, right? No one would ever know. Okay, well, I'm just staring at the clock and it seems okay. Yeah, I made it till morning. Fantastic. That's a bit worrying. <laughs> Sometimes impulsive decisions are good, you know? I, I didn't need to, like, think about how it is a bad idea. I just did it and it worked out. Not saying use it as life advice, mind you, but in this case, yeah, it worked out. I think I'm actually clearing out, like, the entire bottom floor of this mall. <laughs> is that kind of unbelievable? It seems a bit unbelievable. Well, there's one fellow over here. Sir, excuse me, the mall is closed, and by that I mean it's mine now. Get out. One of these days, I'm gonna run over to one of those zombies, act really cocky, and it's gonna eat me. What you doing in the play area, you freak? <laughs> One zombie there. Nice. I wonder how many more kills do I have to do? This is outside. It's pretty empty, actually. I thought there'd be more hanging around. Like, there's a few. It's not that bad. Just gonna straight up eat a lemon. <laughs> there's other things I can eat, but no, I want to eat the lemon. It builds character. I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the lemons. All right, I think this area might be cleared, you know. It's very hard to tell because it does seem like there are some back rooms and little side entrances and whatnot where there could be people. But at the same time, it's very quiet now. Okay, in the maintenance room, there's a couple. There's just a few stragglers. I was going to say I could pull my car up here and this is where I could be loading it in the meantime, but I think it's too far away. I'll just break down the walls and back my truck up into my house, I think, when the time comes. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm assuming you were meant to have a falling animation and you didn't just land with that much dexterity and agility. That would be one scary zombie. Former Olympic gymnast who somehow retained their ability. Wow. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of zombies dead here. You know, after going back and bringing back my mannequin, I didn't even empty my inventory. I was just so set on killing, I didn't even think about looting. I think I'm making more noise and they're starting to like steadily come downstairs, but it's whatever, you know? It's better to deal with them like this, right? Slow and steady. I'm just sprinting all over the mall. I think it's pretty clear. It's actually wild. I didn't think I'd be able to do this. It just goes to show, never believe in yourself and you'll always be happy. At least I think that's the moral to this story. Do I put the bourbon with the food or with the medical supplies? Or perhaps with the weapons given I'm carrying around a Molotov cocktail? You never know when you may need a Molotov cocktail. That's what I always say. It's the old family motto. Probably a bad joke given I'm Irish, but oh well. <laughs> it's done now. At this point, my primary objective of finding a door is kind of gone out the window. Maybe that's what they mean when God closes a door, he opens a window. But in this case, God doesn't have a door, so he opens a window? I don't know, it's getting too deep for me. I'd go smush zombies now. I'll take a little look up on this side because I haven't actually been up this way. I've- oh, okay, there are zombies up here. I kind of assumed they'd come over to me if they were here. Oh, there's a bed. That might be a good one to try and pick up and take with me. Even though the tent was a good sleep. How are you depressed? Well, no, don't, don't answer that. I just don't know what happened specifically. <laughs> so much for thinking the first floor is nearly done. Good lord. Also, just to clear up the confusion, I know some 
countries call it ground floor, some call it first. And I just want you to know, I'm on your side. Whatever that side may be. Okay, that's the furniture store cleared. We got more up here at the gym. Wow, there's a gym. There's actually quite a healthy number here. This is right outside my place. I guess I just don't use the main entrance, so I haven't come across them. Also, that zombie nearly snuck up on me. I'm getting very complacent, but I feel like I can't help it. It's just the way I am. There's nothing I can do. No, that's just a newspaper stall. I don't think I want the newspaper. I'm pretty sure whatever the news is, it's going to be depressing right now, and I don't need it. Wait, don't I have something that can make me happy? There's got to be something. No, I don't. I thought I had, like, chocolate, but I must have just put it away. Oh, man, that's actually quite a lot at the entrance. Okay, I wasn't really expecting that much. I think I've been getting a bit too lucky for too long at the other entrances. Okay, I'm really gonna have to look out for duct tape, wood glue, and other things to repair weapons with, because this machete can't have long for this world anymore. I think it's my second one as well. Okay, that's them. Oh, no, it's not them dealt with. Maybe I should just swap out for my axe. Like, it is a better weapon after all, as far as I know. Oh, it's about halfway. That's okay. It's enough for this journey. I say as I'm a few feet from my house. <laughs> well, every day is a journey if you treat it the right way. I'm curious. What's man's body count right now? What's his KD? 609. <laughs> it's been an eventful day or two, hasn't it? No wonder the guy's depressed. All he knows is death. Hey, I know not a great time to ask, and... We don't really get on, but have you guys seen a doorknob anywhere? This guy's an absolute animal. Look at him fight. I think he just pushed like three people on the floor at once with one push there. Oh, it's a toy store. I was hoping it was a pharmacy. <laughs> I don't think I'll find antidepressants here. The back room is just full of shit. Like literally, there's just loads of fertilizer. <gasps> is that a door hinge? In fact, I'm pretty sure I saw one earlier. Now that I've seen it, I'm like, yeah, I guess when they destroy the metal doors, they'll drop. I just assumed it would go to nothing unless they're disassembled. Look at them trying to get out. They've realized that I'm not locked in here with them. They're locked in here with me and I'm coming. <laughs> okay, it's getting a little bit dicey. I think these are the last few left on the floor. And to be honest, I think most of them came from the floor above. I think this machete is also getting a little bit weaker. Yeah, it's definitely getting weaker. They're much more resilient to the hits. Could be just because I'm very tired as well. Can barely jog. Oh man, it might be time to try and get out of here. Let's jump this fence. <laughs> even though it'll cost me some energy. Oh yeah, I can't even jog. Oh no. Okay, this is bad. I'll go into this house. Not to like actually stay here, but just to try and confuse the zombies remaining. I'll hop out the window and get out of here. I just don't want them to see where I'm going. I don't want them following me into my base when I can't even defend myself. Right now, my only option would be to whip out the shotgun <laughs> and I don't fancy making that much noise. Gotta make sure I'm not followed. Yeah, I think I'm okay. I can go through this store for a slight shortcut. I think my guy might need some maintenance anyway, but we essentially have cleared the first floor. There's just a couple more zombies to go. Okay, I made it home. Just about. First of all, grab one of those <laughs> antidepressants. I just realized I had 13 bottles of them. Reduces unhappiness over sustained periods. Okay, I'm just gonna keep that on me, and then I'm gonna eat chocolate. Oh, jelly beans. Bean. Even better. <laughs> I'm eating antidepressants like they're jelly beans, and jelly beans like they're antidepressants, because I only had a handful. I have crippling depression. Luckily, I also have these gummy bears. <laughs> this will make me feel better, right? Killing like 600 zombies over one week. Yes, the jelly beans and gummy bears worked. I'm just eating gummy worms by the fistful now until he feels better. It worked. He's just a little bit sad. I'm also uh, feeling faint and dizzy from lack of water. I think I should wash all of my stuff. It's not looking great. <laughs> the amount of times he's having to wash the same things just to get the blood off is insanity. We finally got there. The only thing is, I really don't want to catch a cold, so I'm going to take all of this off for now and just drop it on the floor, I guess. Oh my god, I need to wash myself. Washing the clothes while they're on me and this is what's underneath. Ah, much better. Wow. <laughs> this is peak masculinity right here. Let's see if I can get a change of clothes in the meantime. I mean, I live in a military store. Shortly, there's enough. Well, I have my old military hat. Oh no, this military stuff is just in pieces. Okay, we don't want this. Pretty sure that was my own military stuff that I brought with me. It's not quite as 
as fashionable, but I like it. The pants match the backpack. As long as I'm accessorizing, wait, hold on one second. Okay, yeah, I got my dangly ruby earrings. In that case, I'm ready. Oh, one important thing I forgot to do. I want to really dress up the apartment. Give it a homey feel. There we go. What do you feel, homey? It's good? Let's try and fix the machete, because uh, slight update. Pretty sure I've lost the axe somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where. Two duct tape and I can fix it. Yes, grab that. That'll do. All right, it'll keep it running for a bit longer. Round neck sweater. I know my guy's complaining he's warm, but I'm going to wear it anyway for a bit more protection. Now, where are these zombies? They should all be straggling around here, lost and confused, being outplayed by the man too. He's got his energy back. <laughs> Ow! That one pushed me down! You're allowed bite and scratch, not push. Play by the rules. Oh, that's where the noise is coming from. Come here. Oh, wait, no, don't come here. All right, yeah, you're dead. That's fine. I'm confident. I didn't actually realize there was a couple of shops over here, so this is the last corner of the first floor. Uh-oh. 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 This might be the last corner of the first floor I ever see. I'm on, like, the very last doors, and that's apparently where all of them hang out. Okay. Okay. This is not good. This is not good. This is a lot of zombies. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. Okay. I'm being kind of backed into a corner here. You know what might be good? If we all go fight by those, those little show houses again. That was fun, wasn't it? Let's go. Don't know if it's a good or bad idea. Oh, the lights came on. That must mean it's a good idea if a light bulb came above my head. But, yeah, I'm not sure if this is good or bad. It just allows me to, like, one shot them as they come in. I just hope they don't push me over. Oh, no, this is actually a great idea. This is going even better than I expected. Yeah, this is fantastic. Wow. All right. That made quick work of them. There we go. <laughs> the man too is really doing work today. What's our count? 679. I'm so curious. What is this store that they're all coming from? Why are they all in there? Better in there than out in the halls, I suppose. But I'm just curious. I think that's everyone here. This torch is so good, by the way. I'm very glad I have it. Oh, it's a farming store. Actually, this could be pretty handy. Oh, it was just a clothing store. After all that, that's why they were in here. But none of them look fashionable. They're all going for the same look. The rotting corpse look. Okay, I think these are the last ones on this floor. Anything else that I find on this floor would just be coming from above. But that's great news. I also need to look for one more door hinge. I need to find a door they've destroyed, which shouldn't be hard, realistically. The hell was that? Oh no, it was my machete breaking. On the very last zombie, that's kind of poetic, actually. All right, well, uh, I'll go back, I suppose. I'll quickly head over to one of the other doors, perhaps without my hand torch. I might unequip that. I don't need the attention anymore, as much as I usually crave it. Just stomped on his head because my hammer also broke. What are the odds my backup weapon just breaks immediately? Okay, this is kind of taking the piss, but yeah, I'm gonna grab these and then just run away from this zombie. <laughs> I have no weapon. Oh, wait, one of these zombies had a hunting knife. <laughs> it's better than nothing. I just had my inventory open, just scanning them just in case. I mean, I've killed so many, there's bound to be a few weapons lying around. Phew, I made it back, and I am pretty certain the first floor is clear. Other than any straggler that might come from above. But bottom line is, I pretty much can sleep soundly. To prove it to you, I'll sleep soundly in this tent. Very... Very confidently. I think I can hear one, but yeah, I'm just, I'm going to sleep. I, this will be fine. Yeah, I can still hear it as I sleep. This is uh, unsettling. Okay, I'm getting up. I'm sick. Why am I sick? Is it because I'm covered in blood? <laughs> is it because the whole mall is covered in blood? <laughs> I think I'll just clean up and uh, maybe take some medications, some vitamins, and just chill for a while. He's already feeling a, a little bit better. The queasy thing is gone <laughs> now that he's just cleaned all the blood off some of his clothing. Maybe he just needs basic hygiene standards and he'll be fine. But I think I'll give him a rest either way. I'm just thinking as I'm cleaning, I might have to consider trying to go into the parking lot and getting a bigger vehicle. I don't think my pickup truck can take back all the loot I'll get from this place if I live. Okay, I managed to repair the machete a little bit. It's still pretty bad. <laughs> I have everything I think I need for the door, but I'm for Unfortunately, now I don't have a hammer. I'll take some vitamins. They're gummy vitamins as well, so it should hopefully cheer him up, you know? Okay, I gave him some chill time. He's feeling much better. For what I'm planning, I'm definitely gonna need all this food and more. On top of that, I'm gonna need, like, all of these weapons. So I'm definitely just destroying the walls and parking a car in here, loading it up. If I can get away with his wild task. I'm even letting him have a bit of a smoke. He's actually a smoker, and he must be hella stressed at this point. So I figured he deserved one. He's pretty 
good with short, blunt, as well as long blade. Like, I think I actually started with the blunt skills, but I've just been using blades so much that's been leveling up. Anyway, that means I can probably use this pipe wrench with some sort of effectiveness. All right, I'm gonna go check out that parking lot we saw a while ago, try and get a bigger vehicle, because we are getting close to the amount of loot I think we need, which is essentially everything useful in the mall. I also wouldn't mind if I find a hammer again. I know I found one earlier and I didn't take it because I didn't think I'd need it, but I can't remember exactly where it was. It could have been this store actually. Oh no, this had weird books and stuff. Yeah, I didn't understand this store very much. <gasps> crowbar and a ball peen hammer. It was this one. Equip in both hands. Yeah, we're going with a crowbar now. <laughs> Some more doorknobs and door hinges. This is where I remember them earlier. Near the creepy room where I saved Jeff. The scarecrow. Plenty of seeds for the farm. I think that's a good call. I actually went the wrong way to the busy entrance. I realized there's a bookstore there though. That could be pretty helpful too. But am I getting too carried away? Because this has gone better than I ever could have imagined. And realistically, like food, medicine, and weapons is pretty much like all I need, right? And a decent car, of course. Yeah, I'm gonna not be greedy for now. <laughs> He says as he runs over the corpses of the 700 he's killed. Okay, I'm outside. There's a few zombies around. Nothing crazy from what I can see. Come on. No, I'm not that lucky. Okay, fair enough. It doesn't have to be the first van I find. Oh, God damn it. There's a key for this thing, but this isn't very big. I want a big van. Oh, that van might work. Yes. Okay. I got a key for this van. There's no fuel, is there? No, that would be too lucky. But that's fine. I'm okay with that. The mall is just so quiet now. When you run around, it's actually unreal. Okay, I disassemble this counter. You know what that means, right? It's time to make a wooden door. Damn, that's nice. Look at that for handiwork. Can't wait to destroy it in a few minutes when I need to back in the van. Oh yeah, let's grab this gas can that we brought and uh, we'll try and get that van up and running and backed over here. I'm gonna open up the loading bay for later because I feel like this is the best spot to load up the food. It's nice and discreet. Speaking of discreet, I'm trying to be very discreet myself. There are a couple of zombies around, but I don't really feel like fighting anymore, you know? <laughs> okay, come on, work. I probably should have checked the mechanics of this vehicle, but we're fine. It's working. God, where's the mall car park exit? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> probably a good thing, right? I just led them away from the entrance, so that, that should be good. Let's ignore the fact that I'm bringing some that weren't at the mall back toward the mall and just focus on the positive. Ah, uh, look, my first corpse pile. <laughs> it's always the most special. Unfortunately, I have to destroy half of my sign. So now it just says war restrirar. Equally as meaningful I feel in the zombie apocalypse. All right, we got our little back door entrance. Here we are with the van. Lovely stuff. Oh, it even had a gas can in it. Wow, that is awesome. And it can hold 104. Excellent. Okay, I've loaded all of the weapons into the van. Now for the second part of the plan, since I don't have enough space to take everything, I'm going to store all of these weapons into our previous car which I'm storing over here by the water. There we go. And now I'll just put them all into this. <laughs> it makes sense. It's in the ranger van, right? It's lore friendly. Okay, they're all stored away and will be retrieved at a later date. Now I just gotta get everything else. <laughs> I know everything in here was important. Oh, the stale food I stored all went off. It's all rotten now. What are the odds? The van is still holding up. We've got 70 out of 104 full. This is a lot of loot. A lot of good loot as well. What am I doing? I'll just make it some Molotov cocktails, that's all. Oh god, I'm running out of space in the van. This isn't even all the food. The van is now full. I might be able to fit some on the seat perhaps? Oh my god, now the seat is full. Maybe I can put some in the glove box. Wait, there was another machete in there the whole time? Oh, I'm so glad I'm only finding it now. This is like a reward. Is that you, Jeff? Oh, it's trying to knock down my wall. I didn't even know it could do that. Ah, well, you found my base too late, I'm afraid. Okay, let me hop in the van and try and get into that loading bay that I opened. Uh-oh. Oh, the van is struggling a little bit. That's not good. I mean, it is quite a heavy load, to be fair. Everywhere in this van has been occupied by my trash. Oh, car alarm is going off for something. That is not the time. That's not what I need right now. Oh, I nearly went smack into that wall because I was so concerned about dodging the zombies, of which there are a lot all of a sudden. All right, I'm trying to draw them away, and now I think I'm just going to drive straight into that storage bay, close the door, and hope for the best. Close the door. 
Okay, it's down. Oh man, they're knocking on the door. I don't know, is this a good idea? Wait, there's one in here with me. Okay, I think I might need to replan this slightly. I think it just nearly fell over. Okay, what do we got here? Hello? Okay, there are quite a few. That's all right. I just don't want them breaking through that. Oh my god, there's more than quite a few. Oh my god, this may have been a bad idea. I'm shouting at them to try and lead them away. Oh, this isn't good. Where's the other nearest entrance? If I can just guide them away and then maybe I can burst out of that door in the van and just get out of here. Realistically, it's just not worth it, is it? I can hardly even fit anything else in the van. See, this is extremely lucky that I've cleared the entire floor of the mall to allow me to do this. Let's just hope my plan works out. I can't believe it's all coming down to this. Felt like a sure thing like five minutes ago. Ah, some bourbon. That'll make me feel better. <laughs> there we go. I'm a little bit tipsy, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm still able to drive, right? It's a zombie apocalypse for God's sake. Please don't have burst through the door. I think we're okay. I think it makes sense to uh, go out here. Verify we're okay. Yeah, we got like four. I can just deal with them real quick. I'm nervous now, even though it's only like four zombies. I'm like, what if I fall at the last hurdle? Nice. Door open. Great. That means there's only one thing left to do. Seat occupied. Oh yeah, by all of my crap, I forgot. I've gotten everything I deem valuable, but there's still more left to loot. And of course, I don't want anyone else getting the loot. That means I have to pull up the ladder after me and simply burn down the mall. It's a little dark in here, actually, wouldn't you say? I might just, uh, chuck around some Molotovs, huh, guys? Oh, lovely, cute little shop. It would be a shame if it burned down. Ha ha ha. I don't think that one went off. Oh, no, it did. Okay. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Toy store. Bad. <laughs> no one has fun but me. The zombies are trying to inspect it. Too late. The fire is spreading. The thing is, the zombies will also spread the fire. And last but not least, Jeff. You thought I'd split the loot with you? Fat chance. Goodbye, Jeff. Ha ha ha. You can see the mall madness is really set in at this point. I think that should be enough for the whole mall to burn down. Yeah, zombies have caught fire and are running around the mall. They've gone into the back rooms. This is great. It's spreading. Perfect. That means my job here is done. Oh my god! I was almost done myself. Imagine that killed me after everything. We're home free! We got a van full of loot and we got a mall on fire. If that's not a happy ending, I don't know what is. It's time to take this home. What an ending, I must say. My heartbeat was pumping. The adrenaline was flowing. I was very, very happy to make it out of this alive because honestly, I didn't see that coming. Thank you so much for watching. You can check out more of my content here. Subscribe if you're new and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.